Hello, in this video we're going to speak about Flipper Zero and iButton. So let's bring maybe a bit context. So from my understanding and the Wikipedia page, um, I'm not going to go technical, you know, maybe more where we could like find it and what is useful. So here, like the I button is used to authenticate a user. Okay. Uh, you have to see like a I button as a UID. Okay. So let's say you're walking in a restaurant first. You have like this um, digital like um, screen here where you could like put the drinks. Uh, what people are eating and yeah you have to authenticate yourself because like you want to earn like tips and it's your table and so on you know so that's one of the use case so also use case I have noticed it's like in some building maybe even in the mall you could see um, guards that have like a walk to do you know to to check if everything is fine and to say that they went at one point in the room or in that part of the building they use like the i button to validate that they were there okay what's also interesting here is even apple is like using it um, in the MagSafe like uh, system to charge the iPhone or even like the, the notebook okay so when you come close to with the cable to, to, the, to their device it's it's kind of recognize what is like coming inside the port okay so that's different like usage even like I see like Java back in the days like they made like a, a ring <laughs> to to kind of like uh, authenticate uh, yeah users for application maybe something like that so I'll let you read more about it so let's go back to the flipper zero here so the flipper zero is like um, a particular running um, about like um, the I button you will see because like unlike GPIO where like you have all these holes here uh, you have like to put your pin inside like 17 pin and the ground for the I button reader okay or if you want with a I button that you need to open and wire to the GPIO. But if you only want to read GPIO or even like emulate one, you could do this without any modification. So you will need to flip around your screen or something at one point, but if, if it's here just to watch, it's fine. So there is GPIO 17 here and where we call it one wire, it's because it's only using one wire for the data. So you could see here in the left part of the screen, there is a little schema, okay? So the 17 pin is for the data, of course, you understood it. And the ground is the other one, okay? So now, like the kind of action you need to do is to come with your one with your I button, sorry, or like the reader for the emulation, close uh, enough to be in contact and make um, the connection. Okay, so that's what we are going to do here. So, <clears throat> sorry, I use like this Arduino board and the one wire reader, I button reader, to to make like a simulation because like. Yeah, I don't have like proper like uh, intercom like in Eastern Europe. What they they use, you know, maybe 
in building doors like to um, to enter or any cashier uh, system so here it is when we're going to use this um, black um, eye button it is going to turn the little LID green okay so to do this first I'm going to show you so I don't know why the video is a bit laggy so maybe need to go slow so here you could see the little green LID turn green so that's all we want it's light so now if I put the blue it turn right back off okay so thanks to this bunch of code and right wiring here with like a, a resistor and like the reader I was able like to to make like the, co the connection and I add up like some um, customization to the code for sure like for the um, LID and in addition here like you would see there is like a console that is like reading like the status of the UID okay so here we are looking for the UID for the black eye button and the blue one is that one ending with 15 and the black one is 78 okay so what I'm going to do now is like to use the flip zero to read an I button okay so you could see it's pretty fast to read it so now we have like two two options either we want to retry or more okay we're going to go for more and here's three options okay so we save so when we're going to, to save it it's going to save it to the txt file then you could like copy this file to your computer or even keep it on the flipper zero for later on emulation okay so if you go to emulation we're going to emulate without uh, saving it for now so we're going to go for this we could also like write it if you want to let's say duplicate like um, I button okay because indeed my I button here um, able like to be uh, written okay so let's go for emulate and the little LID should blink okay so you see here it is green that's all we want so now I will leave the I button application okay I will use the blue I button again so the LID turn off now I will go in the application and it's a misc and whoops sorry it's not here in tools and my bad so I button further so what is doing here so further like we'll try any combination uh, possible for the UID so for me it's kind of brute forcing here like all the combination possible like to match my uh, black eye button however it's not something I do want to, to take a video of because it's going to take like for ages so what's also interesting here if you kind of know what kind of UID you are targeting it if there is let's say a range or something because yeah it's hexadecimal value in the end 
and sometimes there is also a pattern maybe depending the vendor or like the place where you are using it okay so you could load and they're like example already made so what i did here i customize one of like them which is like of course like the ds 1990 which i'm using in this video to include the uid of my uh, black uh, eye button <laughs> of course because it's going to go much faster okay so let's do it like that I will use again like the eye button uh, reader to type petals origin contact to the flipper zero and I'm, I'm going to run it so what you could do also here is to define like the delay between each uh, try but I'm going to keep it by default eight okay so you could we could see how fast it's going to go Do you see on the left of the screen? Okay, we're already here. So on the left of the screen, like we could see all the try, try out here until we succeed. Okay. So I think it's really interesting here to see I button like it's used to authenticate and it should never be used like to, to protect any valuable uh, assets in any kind because with the flip zero we just demonstrate how easy how easy sorry it is to copy emulate and even edit because if you use like the windows explorer you will open the txt and you could like define a whole bunch of stuff here so if you're around like a place where people are playing with uh, I button and flip zero maybe there are either pen testers and doing an assessment or something is going on here so watch out for this thank you for watching and stay tuned on my channel thank you bye bye